Head coach Toba Tonyango hopes his young but experienced team can get the job done and his players are up to the challenge. It's been six hard weeks of hard work and yeah, I believe the, the boys are really ready to perform and qualify. The local union lowered highly recognized strength and conditioning coach Joffrey Kimani to get the players in better shape. And after eight weeks of power, strength and endurance workouts, the team is stronger than ever. The boys have really buffed up. They're really much faster now, really conditioned to play. Um, in the past, we used to play. Guy goes down, he gets hurt, but I believe we're past that level. Uganda plays in the qualifiers division of the tournament and must win the division in order to qualify for core status for the next HSBC World Series. Keeping on the world stage is the goal. There is a big gap between uh, Uganda and the, and the rest of the world. Um, uh, and, 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 and the more we play in these uh, tournaments, the more we bridge that gap. And, and it has um, enabled us to prepare for, you know, uh, 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 prepare a pipeline uh, for the future of, of Uganda Sevens. Uganda finished 14th in the Dubai and Cape Town series last December. And there will be plenty of motivation to stay up and rub shoulders with some of the world's best. Uganda's Rugby 7 side has attracted plenty of attention over the past few tournaments. And with the improvements made on and off the field, that has proved that things could be headed for a brighter side. It will now be interesting to see how the team performs on yet another big stage. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.